skinny dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be skinny and the thing that you put on your body is 125 pounds. And he didn't put on the person. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. It said the tip of his spear is 25 pounds. Mm. So you gotta be strong too. Oh yeah. You, you, you mean you just walk around carrying 25 pounds? It said the tip. And it said the spear. I love the Bible. It said the tip. That leads it. So how heavy was the spear if the tip of it is 25 pounds? Shucks. 50. He's a, a big dude. We can say 50. 75 pounds here, 125 pounds. He walking around carrying 200 pounds. If you a man and you live weight, you know that's a strong dude. Ooh. So I could just walk around and talk here with 100, with 200 pounds. That's a rule. He's strong. That's right. So he's big. He's strong. Mm -hmm. And this is this is even mad. He mean. He mean. <laughs> Ooh. Take no mess. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Papa don't take no mess. Have you ever been in a fight? Have <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen somebody? You know, we do football, and that's always fight. <laughs> and when you see somebody walk on that thing big, and he's so I've seen big, strong people, but they weren't me. Mm -hmm. And players. And you and I had to say, man, if you understand who you are and you bring that aggression out of you, oh my God, you could dominate the game. Mm -hmm. But then I've seen somebody that was big and strong and mean. <laughs> and they talk to you a little bit. <laughs> and they literally dominate the game. Yeah. That's what yeah. Yeah. They start messing with because he's big. Uh -huh. He's strong. He's strong <laughs> and he's not going to eat you up. <laughs> and he's mean. <laughs> he ain't passive. He ain't no sucker. He ain't no coward. He ain't scared. Right. He gets confident in who he is. He knows who he is. And he knows he has the strength to eat you up. Yeah. And he's telling the children of Israel, I will kill all of y'all. Matter of fact, we don't even have to fight as armies. Just find somebody in your army that's bad enough to beat me, and we'll come serve y'all. Okay. Now that's a lot. That's a big challenge. That's, that's, that's a challenge. That's a challenge. Uh -huh. You're talking smack on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Talking about, no, we ain't got to fight. There's too many. We ain't got to do that. I don't think there's nobody bad enough over there to fight me. Yeah. To kill me. Yes. And if it is, <laughs> we're served. And, and it must be true because, as you think from the Philistine point of mind, he talking on their behalf. So he said if somebody can kill him, then they're the whole nation to serve the other nation, so they must know he's bad. Mm -hmm. If they gonna back that, I'm just thinking, well, I'm a Philistine, and you gotta be bad talking about I'm gonna go serve somebody they kill you. <laughs> yeah, I'm wrapped all in your business. No, he gotta be. If I don't think he can, he can be beat, I'm saying, no, hold on. No, you gonna serve him. <laughs> So he must be a champion that nobody can beat. Not even in his own country, nobody can beat. And he talking head. Uh, <laughs> major. <laughs> What's that thing talking like that to you? Ooh, wee. Good question. What is that thing that's big? The lion. You know it's strong. Mm -hmm. And he keep talking to you. My God. He keeps saying, I'm going to kill you. Mm. You ain't going to never get out. Mm. That God you talking about, that ain't, he ain't stronger than me. Where is Jesus at now? Mm. Because one thing I know is about the devil, he don't shut up. No, he don't. The devil talks, y'all, mm -hmm. all day. Amen. That's why the Bible said, be slow to speak. Mm -hmm. Quick, Quick to, to hear. To hear. And the opposite of that is the enemy. The enemy, he he's slow to hear, and he's so quick to say something crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he talks to you all day. You ain't going to make it. Look where you came mm -hmm. from. Look at your background. Look at your household. Look at your life. Look how you came up. Look at this. Look at that. You've been going through that for two years. Now it's three years. Now it's four years. I'm going to kill you with that thing. He's been talking. Oh, yeah. Mm. And the problem with the Israelites, they been missing. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the first thing that God told Adam and Eve when Satan crept in and all that craziness happened? He told Eve, who you been talking to? Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Who changed your perspective on how you see in this thing? Mm -hmm. That was the first thing. Mm -hmm. 
You have to con watch your gates. You have to watch what you're looking at. You have to watch who has your ear. Mm -hmm. You have to watch who you hang out with. Yes, you have to Amen. watch your surroundings. Amen. You better keep an eye on it because right. if the wrong person gets in your ear, they'll put you out the garden. Sure oh, yeah. that's good. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say if the wrong person gets in your ear, mm -hmm. they have the influence to pull you out the garden. That's good. Yes. They've been talking. They've been listening. Mm -hmm. And you know what got in their heart? Fear. Fear. Mm -hmm. They don't have boldness in, the, in their king anymore. The ones that split red seas. Yes. Mm -hmm. The ones that watch fire fall from heaven. That got books talking about how God killed all the firstborn. And how God did this. And how God brought people out. And how God made a way. They don't have confidence in God anymore. Right, right. Because they've been listening to the devil too much. Mm. And they're starting to lose faith. Because faith comes by hearing. hearing. And anything. See, we, we understand that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God for Christians. I'm going to let you know, faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. and anything. If you watch the news too much, you're going to start believing in that stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're gonna start, are y'all listening to yes, me? Sir. Whatever has your ear, you're going to start having faith in you. That's right. Are y'all listening? That's why you're supposed to give your ear to God. You're supposed to give your ear to that word. Yeah. You're supposed to give the ear to sound doctrine so you will have faith in it. Are y'all listening to me? That's good. So they're scared to death. And this is the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay that the people are scared. Mm -hmm. It's okay that the general of the army is scared. Mm -hmm. It's okay that all the elders are scared. It's even okay that even some of the diplomats are scared. But the problem is the king is scared. Mm -hmm. Saul, who's leading the people, is scared. Now that's the problem. Because if the leader is scared, Mm -hmm. Had sight, mm -hmm. then he can lead the blind. Yes. But when the blind are leading the blind, they all fall. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter if you're the head of the household about the children, but it matters about you. Amen. <laughs> That's why when the devil gets ready to attack the family, he attacks the man. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? When he got ready to attack the African American people, he attacked the man. In Israel, the Bible says there's a passage that says, kill everything that pees against a wall. In mm -hmm. Moses, it told him to kill all the male children. In Jesus' day, it said, kill all the male children because he understands if he can get the head, the body will fall. Mm. Now y'all listening to me I'm talking strategic yeah, attack yes. mm -hmm. The first place we hit On a football field I teach the player to hit is the center mm -hmm. This is the point of attack mm -hmm. Why? Because this is where the ball is This is where it starts at So if we can get him messed up The whole team will be messed yeah. up mm. <laughs> y'all If we can get that snap to start yeah. tripping yeah. His fumble's going to start everywhere Yes, yes are you listening, Louie? Come on. So you better be strong at that center point, brother. Yes, sir. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, sir. Because a good coach is going to attack you. Woo! I just got a word. You get attacked when you go into positions. Yes, sir. You better be careful asking for big positions because the greater the position, the greater the attack. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Are y'all listening to yes, me? Yes. Don't be so quick to run up here. Are y'all listening to me? Oh, yeah. Because you're going to get attacked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the king is spooked. The one that's supposed to tell everybody, be quiet, be still, be strong in the Lord and the power of this might. Choose this day God will deliver. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. He ain't saying that. Mm -mm. <laughs> He's sitting in his palace tripping right now. <laughs> Oh my God! Mm -hmm. All eyes is on me. <laughs> yeah. 
You want to be the head. When the problem comes, you still the head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not just when it's good. Right. He biting his nails. Because he's afraid to face the giant. He's afraid to come, come and just to confront the giant. Mm-hmm. And so David is listening to all this stuff happening. And David said, wait a minute. But I like David. First, he, he says, he starts saying, hold on. He says, he says, so what does a person get if they kill him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look how David's looking at the situation. Good yeah. question. <laughs> Everybody's afraid. David's seeing it as an opportunity. Two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm struggling. I've been in a sheep all my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I can see he's a problem and he's a threat. And so, one, I don't like him. I don't like what he's saying. And I need, I'm ready to go do so. Hey, I've been, been around somebody that keep talking. And, and you know, you ain't never Come met on. that person. But you're like, man, I don't, man, I don't yeah, think he's as bad as he think he is. <laughs> and but, but David didn't go out. No. Hold on. I got to investigate. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah, know what's yeah. going on yet. Yeah, I just yeah. got here. I came here on some servitude, and I'm kind of uh, falling off into all this. So let me figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. So, brother, I hear him talking, and I see y'all afraid. Mm-hmm. I have a nice question: What does somebody get if they kill him? Mm-hmm. And they said, "Oh, the king said you, he's going to change your life. Mm-hmm. You're going to get his daughter. Mm-hmm. He's going to bring you into the palace." You're gonna go. You're gonna go from poor to rich immediately, and you have enough faith to confront that giant. I want to tell somebody: this next giant you kill mm-hmm. is gonna take you from one dimension oh, yes. to Come another on. dimension. Hallelujah! You have the heart Amen. to confront the giant. Mm-hmm. God says, "I'm gonna give you some stuff that your eyes have not seen, oh, yeah. your ears on, have not heard." Neither has it into your heart, but I'll prepare it for you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bring you from one level yes. into another level yes. so fast that it's going to scare you. Yeah. You're going to want to hide you came out from the sheep, mm-hmm. and now you're wearing royal robes in the palace. Yes. But you have to be bold enough to confront this thing. That's good. It says the king will change their life. Hi, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is ready to change your life. Oh, yes. And he says, oh, are you serious? So you're going to get all that? Sign me up. <laughs> uh, sign me up. I won't in. Uh, I know everybody's afraid. I know everybody's running. I know everybody's spooked. I know everybody said it's a problem. It's an issue. We can't do it. Uh, but no, I see it as an opportunity. Amen. I see it as an opportunity. Yes. God wants you to see your problem as an opportunity. Yes. God wants you to see that your storm is an opportunity. Hallelujah. It's not going to take you out. It's going to push you out. You got to just look at it through the right perception. Amen. I see it. As a door, it's a door, it's a door yeah. to get me to my problem. I don't, it's a door. Amen. And so he says, I'll fight him. And, and when he stood up, his brothers said, Man, now you go again. Uh, yes, sir. Always talking, always being the big shot. You intimidate people <laughs> when you choose to do something that they're afraid to do. Amen. Mm. David wouldn't have to stand up if his brother would have stood up. Mm -hmm. And so the brother's mad at David because David is exposing his fear. Mm. So don't think that when you choose to stand up and face your giant, that the people that are close to you are going to applaud you. Mm -hmm. Mm. But they're going to say, your light is exposing my darkness. Darkness. He came to his own and his own rejected him. Are y'all listening Uh to me? Because his light exposed their darkness. Good God Almighty. One of the main corporates of killing Jesus wasn't sinners. It was preachers and Christians. It was preachers and priests and, and rabbis because Jesus came showing them what real preaching looks like. Mm. What real power yeah. looks like. They were doing rituals and ceremonials. And Jesus came healing people and preaching to demons came out of people. And they said, get away from us. Mm. Ah. Because you're doing it for real, and we faking with this thing. Mm. And so, 
David tells the king, I'm almost done. 